Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fort Solace. We are currently in uh, Wyatt's room. I was checking the... Uh, I, I was uploading the second part, and I was and I checked the analytics of the first part, and I noticed there's, like, a few hundred... Like, a couple hundred, close to, like, 250... I think it's, like, 254. 250-some-odd views, um, which is pretty nice. But I just have to say, there was a... There was a down... There was a down... A thumbs down. Uh... Why? I wonder. Like, why is my why is my video get a thumbs down? Anyway, it's not that I'm upset about it. It just makes me laugh a little bit because I saw it and I went, why? 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 Anyway, I uh, just figured I would say something because I thought it was funny. But uh, yeah, so we are currently investigating the level five rooms now that we have all five security well, levels. haunted us for the past few weeks. I think we're all just looking for <laughs> forward <clears throat> to losing our dreary eyes and raw noses. I know that I am. Is it a flu? But one benefit um, to being locked away is being able to call Rachel about her studies. She says she's following in the footsteps of her father. <laughs> It doesn't seem like he's focusing on being a proud parent anymore. He's focusing on murdering everybody in the station. All right. Uh, let's see. 210 K Taylor. Why? I know sometimes your pride can be intolerable, but if you're truly feeling that way, you should really take a step back. It's only a posting. We miss you. But girls can wait. Uh, can't wait to have you home. If nothing else, hold on to that. His wife. Uh, K Taylor. Hey, we haven't heard from you in a few days. Did you manage to get a seam to fix your terminal? Just dropping a message here if you're not too busy and want to call later. I'll keep the girls up just in case. Love you. Uh, 1110. Why? I don't hear from you for almost a week and then you send me that. What's in this package? Why can't I open it? You're scaring me. Call me back now. I'm serious. Does Tom know what it is? What's in this package? He sent her something from here? I confronted Helen today. About the situation here. She flat out refuses to admit anything is going on. More of Nick's scenes are showing what I believe, based upon my medical experience, to be clearly radiation sickness, but she said that due to the varying symptoms being displayed by each patient, I currently have nothing conclusive to confirm my diagnosis. But there is one consistent factor. And that's the hand trigger. <gasps> that's a sign. Jessica's hand is shaking. I think that's a sign and it's just hiding. Plain sight. Yeah, yeah, come in. A couple of guys playing poker tonight. Fancy it? Um, no, no, not tonight. But did you think about what I talked about? Going to the hangar? Not this again. Why? You know I can't just let you in. It's against regulations. If he gets suspended. Yeah, I, I, I've asked you not to call me. <laughs> um, why is no one taking this seriously? I am. Tell you what, if you win the game, I'll let you take a look. Sound fair? Yeah, deal. Right. I'll let the guys know we found our sixth player. See you in the canteen about seven. Yeah, great. Can't wait. Looks like I'm playing poker tonight. I hate poker. So that was from 927. This is from 106. Outside at night, I know it's not just a storm. 
tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll confirm you all. Oh, his hands shaking. So, it's Wyatt walking around. Another person going into surgery. Oh, it's the officer who's in the surgery room. And see, so he's been stabbed. That's why it killed him. So, basically, what I'm getting is right, is that. Maybe, let me just see if I can put this together. The idea is, right, that Helen was trying to basically kind of terraform Mars by planting plants in the Martian soil, in the Mars soil. Somehow, the Mars soil has had a reaction with those plants that caused them to have accelerated growth, and then they had this decay, right, which is what we what Helen talked about in her video was that the, the plants would grow and then they would die. It was like a rapid like growth and then death. And so maybe is the idea that when you plant the plants in the Martian soil, something happens to them that causes them to mutate and they put off some kind of virus or infection that when people get it, it makes it that the infection looks, it looks like a radiation sickness, but it's not actually radiation sickness. It's whatever the plants are giving to the people. It's making them sick and maybe it drives them insane and why it's been the, in, it has been infected the longest. So that's why he's now killed everyone. Perhaps it's like the happening Remember that movie, the plants killed everybody. 
All right, so this is Adam's room. Because it seems everybody's been around these plants, too. There's always seemingly a plant wherever you go into one of these rooms. I'm recording this as a record. The Better Tomorrow Project, it's not what we thought it was. That there is no tomorrow. I know that now. We are all damned. The Frontiers Project needs to be shut down. I've spoken with Wyatt and we have filed our complaints to Central. I'm sorry, Alan. Forgive us. So he knows about it too, then. We were fools to ever think there wouldn't be a cost. Okay, let's see. Um, 210 from Helen. Adam, as discussed, it's critical in this moment to make sure we take all measures to safeguard the greenhouse and the work we are doing. Officer Taylor has become increasingly hostile towards my work and is starting to claim it is in fact harming the residents of Fort Solace, something we both know to be false. I have reported this to Central and he shouldn't be a problem much longer. Please have Oscar keep a close eye on him until then. Thanks. So yeah, she that she reported him. Um, Alright, 910. Uh, Jay Stevenson. Adam, I have re uh, received concern from Helen that you're simply not able to handle Wyatt Taylor and his conspiracy theories. It stands to jeopardize everything. I know you're against taking action, but you leave me with no choice. M. Romero. Hello, Adam. Thanks for meeting me about my concerns. I wanted to let you know I took your advice and left a sample with Officer Taylor. I just felt it was the right thing to do. I'm sorry. Uh, Nick. Adam, this is getting out of hand. I had to separate my team today over the smallest incident. How long are you going to allow this to fester? I want to believe that Helen tells me. Well, I believe what Helen tells me. What you tell me. However, it's hard when I'm seeing things unravel like this. I'm going to request a transfer after storm season. I can't remain a part of this. Uh, o. Richardson. Hi, Adam. I've looked into the numerous complaints of staff morale becoming increasingly hostile. There seems to be a quick rise in agitation and conflict between staff. This can be attributed to storm season and the isolation, but there seems to be much more to it than that. Officer Taylor asked me to look into the health record of those working in the greenhouse, and I have to say, not only was I astonished by those results, but alarmed I had seen that you had removed his complaint from the system. Can you please explain this action? Thanks. So maybe it's not just the plants. Maybe it's also the soil, right? Because there's the overexposure, right? So that maybe the soil itself, people are getting exposed to it as well. So this exterior cam... Atrium. Oh, this is Helen. She got. This is when she got stabbed. She walked her way over to the atrium, and then she died. <sighs> Due to power issues, we've had to switch to officer access areas. <laughs> this really hasn't helped with the paranoia. Things are getting a little wild now. I'm about to go and inspect the hangar doors with Nick, who claims claw marks or something. <laughs> They're actually considering an animal tried to break in. Uh, imagine. That really would be the cherry on top. Alien life. <laughs> First contact. And it's here on Solace. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like that's a red herring. I feel like they're trying to make you believe that perhaps maybe an alien has... But I, I don't actually think that's the case. I think it's the plants. I, I honestly think that, that that's what's making everybody sick. Because see, there's like... There's a, a cactus there. There's that plant there. I mean, there's... Every room that you go in... in that has... That like is a personal room or whatever. They all have plants. Which makes you believe that more than likely the plants are putting off some sort of maybe they're putting off some sort of virus or something that's that's killing people well maybe not necessarily killing them but it's it's making them go insane i mean what's well, or it's making them maybe it's like a virus it's kind of like you know in a 28 days later when they uh 
Oops. In 28 Days Later, it was it was like a ra it was rabies, but it, it turned them into these like rage monsters, you know. So like, maybe it starts to make people angry all the time, and so that's why everybody's at each other's throats. Do it every time you can't just hold it. Use the tunnels to access the greenhouse. Tunnels where? Oh, downstairs, atrium, the atrium downstairs, I see. All right, so like surface, there's communications. Um, so there's the greenhouse over there. There's the hangar over there. All right, so level, so the main level, right? Communications, we've been in, we've been in all that. We've been in there. where we were. We've accessed all of these, correct? I believe. Where's the hangar, but... Alright, so we have to go back down. So we're going back down to B2. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> the whole zombies thing is kind of funny because I, I, when they first were kind of like, I was like, well, what if they do turn into zombies? But it doesn't actually seem to be that it's like zombies. God damn it, I keep doing that. Those. Oh, I was on B2. I am on B2. Greenhouse. Okay. Chapter 4. Je Jessica. Where is he? Just stop this, please. You don't know what you're doing. I could say the same to you. I'm saving lives. That's what I do. Adam? Asim? How exactly did you save them? I've let this go on long enough. To the greenhouse. Cartographer. It's at all locations. God, but maybe it's in the food, too. Maybe it's in everything they grow. So these cucumbers, all the food as well. When you think about it, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty horrific. I can't believe these are real. They're all being grown in Martian soil, right? Or maybe like the food sources aren't, but I don't know. I mean, look, these are like red. They have like red spots on them. So maybe they are. Maybe they are all being grown in Martian soil. I was thinking maybe that the food supplies weren't being grown in Martian soil. Maybe they had like soil samples from Earth, but I don't know. Maybe they are growing it all in Martian soil.
Oh, they have, they have an apiary. Bees. Amazing. Even all the way up here. Come on, Jess. Oh, that's right. I forgot. They they mentioned uh, in one of the audio diaries earlier that somebody that people were getting stung by bees. I remember that now. Progress. It's a funny thing, really. You are so preoccupied with whether you could. You never stop to think whether you should. If you should. So the real question is, is did Helen know? Seems the frames are dropping now. Performance mode, huh? So yeah, it makes me wonder, may, did Helen actually know if, if this was happening? <clears throat> like, did she know that the plants were, be okay. were spreading this? Focus and calm, just like they taught me. Focused mind. What the hell's up here? Okay, greenhouse B1. All right, lab That's report. All I need. <laughs> Agro bees. The results are highly confidential, not for distribution. Signatures must be provided at the end of this report. Compound 19. Data table 1. Growth, oxonometer, uh, time, days, void contamination. So, hold on, let me see here. So, it, so it's compound 19. Growth... The growth, so it goes up in turn. So in days, in days it goes up until about day nine, where it becomes contaminated, and then it dies. So it grows and grows, and then it dies. Contamination. Compound nineteen became contaminated due to another bee-related escape. The batch now needs to be created once more. Interestingly, the bees that be that came in contact remain fine and have been returned to the apiary. Okay, so it was contaminated because of the bees. At least that sample was. What do we have here? These are all kinds of compounds. There's multiple. So what is it? Soil samples? Or I have no idea. Engineering design new life. Plant modification, genetic modification. Yada 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 yada. Frontier projects. Yeah, because it's the idea is to is to terraform the planet, right? That's like what she's trying to do. Compound this is eighteen. Why are they digging so deep? Overgrowth. Prospect too. So it went up until day three, where it expired. Some sections of plants seem to overgrow and expire almost overnight. Here, the compound is clearly unbalanced and needs recalibrating to meet the needs of the soil catalyst from planum. Planum. This was compound 18. Hmm. It looks like they almost grew too fast. Yeah, they, they rapidly grew and then they died. That's what Helen was talking about in her journals, was that in the Martian soil, they would grow super fast and then they would die off really quickly. So it's like she was trying to modify it so that they wouldn't, so that they would grow at the normal rate. 
So what this is compound 23. That does not sound legal. The growth went up until day five and it started to go down a little bit and then at day nine it grew rapidly until day 12 where it expired. The compound can sustain growth whilst maintaining a healthy level of nutrients. The food created here has been tested to reveal more advanced traces of the compound, so the soil is not acting as the desired catalyst. The formula needs to be revised. So yeah, it's like a genetic modification that she's she's doing to these plants. B activity. Uh, bee behavior. Since coming into contact with the compound, we've continued to monitor the behavior of the bees. There seems to be little change other than the slight uptick in activity. Further monitoring is required. Yeah, because you need bees, right? Because bees help pollinate. So the bees are coming in contact with the compound as well. Okay. that oh okay well we need a code could be 2080 I doubt it all right let's see so 810 from s done part I can't believe you actually done it come home and celebrate you don't need to be up there anymore we miss you here please come home so proud of you Terra Mail, hello, your package for Sarah has been collected. Further updates will be emailed once transit has begun. You can check your package. Oh my god, I just thought of something. I wonder, do you think that any of them have sent have sent plants back to Earth? Because if the plants are creating a virus, right, that can spread when you're near it, if they send these plants to Earth then the plants that have Martian soil will spread that virus on Earth and will kill people on Earth, and it could become a pandemic. Oh, my God. It's apocalyptic. Uh, Helen, so uh, T. Schmidt, Helen, what we created can't be shared. I spoke with Wyatt earlier who feels the same way. When we first started this journey, we wanted to make something that could change lives. Now I fear what lies in that vial is more than just a lightning in a bottle. For... Uh, as I'm away for storm season, I've had the chance to reflect on the harm it could potentially do. We still don't fully understand what we have made. It would be irresponsible to turn over to Jack and his team. We have no intention of using it to create sustainable oxygen here or other sites. Oh, so yeah, they're trying to make... She's trying to make plants, right, that can produce oxygen. You know it, I know it. Let's chat when I'm back next month. Lead lab, lab tech. Jay Stevenson. Dear Helen, your site manager and security have been informed of his suspension. It wasn't easy to push through, but we feel his removal in your report. It's in all interest to make sure your work isn't interrupted. Come tomorrow. We, he will no longer be on the site, and my team will arrive to collect the sample. Dear Helen, thanks for the update. That's terrific news. Congratulations to your team. This does mean we can move on to phase two. I'll inform the team. Have fun celebrating. Yeah, so see, she she must have done it. So, um, 10-6. Compiling a new compound this week has meant for a more concentrated <coughs> measure. As the teams continue to provide us with samples from the site, we look to regulate the growth rate through controlled nutrients. Whilst time runs out for those back home, we are so close to sustaining life here. The work we're doing is... is bigger than all of us. We are beginning to see aggressive acceleration with compound 26. It seems to be able to sustain <clears throat> environmental hazards as a result. This development has been fundamental in... Ma'am, Dr. Taylor is here again, requesting to come downstairs. <sighs> For the last time, he doesn't have clearance. He shouldn't be here. Yes, ma'am. However, he says it's a question of ethics. <clears throat> Where is he? Boreal region, ma'am. Hmm. This is research lab. It 
See, so he was like super aggressive. It wasn't even like he was just talking to her. And this was happening to other people too, but in, in less... It seems like he's the one who's affected the most. I mean, he literally just like... He, I mean, because he literally killed everybody. Yeah, it seems like he's actually affected. Maybe it's better if she doesn't know. Brazil 2078. Oh, do you think maybe that's the code? I was thinking maybe it was 2080, but let's try that. Um. Twenty eighty. Well, what the fuck is it? Son of a bitch. Um, let's see here. Because, yeah, see, like, a, the package to his wife. Wyatt sent a package as well. But he must have sent it. Maybe it was a plant, but he sent it before he knew. That's why he told her that she can't open it. not seeing any four digit codes here a oh, 1900 but that's Terra well being see and that's a that's a six digit code I need a four digit code uh, 1210 that's for Jack, you can try twelve ten. Is there any progress? It's a funny thing, really. Yeah, so it's not that one. You are so preoccupied with whether you could. You know, compound twenty six can save lives. The soil, <laughs> it accelerates. It creates compulsion. The work we have done here will only further the effort on Mars. Others will come here. I'm recording this as I hear more than just dust against the glass at night. The storms have arrived. No one trusts anyone anymore. I have left a core sample of compound 26 oh, yeah. in a steel drawer within my office. Okay. The code is Zero. 07. Ah, uh, there we go. That I remember that. Salvation. Zero seven two one. There we go. Compound twenty six. Everything is dust. Okay. We also have that as well. Did it, 
So compound 26 is what basically created the stable plant. Hmm. Okay. Well, now we're going to head up a level. I wonder what my trophies are like. What do I have in terms of trophies left? 3,000 steps. You all video logs, all... These must be story. Oh, I never finished the beer bottle. Oh, I never finished my beer. I should have finished. I, I thought it was infinite, so I never actually finished it. Oh, wow, there's not very many trophies for this game. We must be close to finishing this game. Are we going to actually finish this game in three parts? That's kind of crazy that this game is like so short. I knew it wasn't that long, but I didn't think it was like... Only, you know, like, a few hours. Alright, so this has to go in here. Where could he be? So this is supposed to be the, where the compounds are growing the plants. The Frontier Project. That was shut down years ago. So wait, if it was shut down years ago, are you telling me that she had continued carrying this work on? Oh, that explains a lot. Twenty the compound success. twenty four. So she did it. Is he after this? For himself? After the success of Compound 23, we can now look to create a more streamlined and stable compound in order to share our research with other Terra facilities. So 23 was the success, but 26 made it stable, right? Gridding compounds is becoming increasingly harder due to the lower quantities of planum soil we are receiving. The sample is of much smaller scale and therefore hard to determine its effects. Okay. Well, here we are. Out of the depths and into the jungle, it seems. Where even am I? You're in the greenhouse. He can't be anywhere else. Okay, well, I guess we look around. Me. Uh, okay, yeah, I see now. So this building is so big. Okay, so we have an airlock, which is locked. It's a biohazard. So we're not getting into that. This is locked. Storage. Door locked. An elevator here. Better tomorrow. This is bad news. Anytime I've seen that logo, trouble follows. What, the Terra logo? I'm not gonna go in there yet. Look 
around here first. Okay, so this way is blocked. Walk all the way back now. So we can go around this way. So these are the two towers. Does the map say find Jack? I guess all these ways are blocked. Okay, well, at least I now know. It is pretty like linear in the sense that it doesn't like let you really explore all that much, but I wonder how close we are to 3,000 steps. You think it like, you think it'll tell you in like the main menu? It'll tell you like how many steps. All this. This is the reason they are here. No wonder such an old base is still operational. Okay. Guess we're walking. All this. Such a beautiful sight. Even up here. See, her hand's trembling as well. Which makes me believe that she's also infected. Because he did say that, like, one of the first signs was the, the hand tremble. But she hasn't even taken her helmet off, right? Like, so you wouldn't think she would be. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. All right, ground floor. We're not going out there. Oh god. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I fucked that up. Got him. I didn't even notice the quick time event, to be honest. Fuck this. Fuck staying calm. So you came from over there? Well, 
Well, I don't have a, I don't have a knife anymore. He took my knife. So I stabbed him with it, so. I'm guessing we're probably going to learn what I've been saying all along, which is that the plants are... Oh, is that Jack? Jack! 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 Wake up, Jack! Are you okay? Do you have any idea what I have done? What this has taken from me? Look, I read Helen's work. You, you can report this. Helen's work? You read Helen's work? What about my work? And I did report this to everybody. You know what they did? The uh, axe is not on the ground. Well, they suspended me. Me, of all people. They came for me. At my facility, and they took everything. We can walk out of here, tell everyone what we know. These were my colleagues. They were my friends. Then my family. Do you know what it feels like to realize you're never going home again? We can. We all could. That's sweet. But your hand shaking? Yeah. That's the first sign. And after that, <clears throat> it's not good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's got to be this way because you really look like good people. And trust me, I, I take no joy in any of this. <laughs> oh shit! Whoa! Oh god! All right, I gotta be on my toes for this one. You knocked him over. Oh, God. Oh, he got her. Oh god damn. Just keep hitting him. Why why do people why do people always stop? Just go over there and keep bashing his brains in with the fucking canister. Why would you stop? He's gonna get back up. Neither of us have helmets on. Oh, yeah, we're lucky. I told you Chivalry wasn't dead. Oh, shit! Yep, she's dead, for sure. The audio's all fucked up. Why is the audio all buggy? Uh, 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 
Oh, this is the hangar. I know this is hard. Being the martyr always is. But your partner... She understood that. You got a chance to do the right thing here, Jack. How will they remember us? Because the ones who saved them from certain death... ...or the ones... ...who allowed it to happen. They'll name schools after us. Erect statues in our honor. We will become immortalized. And your friend... Her? Shit, man. I can't even remember her name. You gonna like give me the chance to attack back? Fuck's sake. Am I just gonna lay here and die now? Okay, well there we go. I'm not I'm I'm not Target neutralized. Central, this is Alpha Tease. Situation contained. Identify yourself. Sir, are you able to respond? Receive the compliment to the Born in the ocean of nuclear water, I will dry a tear. All right. Well, I guess that's that.
Well, I guess that's that. Yeah, um... Oh, Jack was Roger Clark. I totally didn't even realize that. Alright, well I guess we'll let this play out. So, we never really, like, totally figured out what, like, the plot, if it was like, I, I feel like I was correct in what I thought the plot was for the plants. Maybe I'll look, maybe I'll see if I can discover this. Yeah, so, I wish I could just skip this. I feel like I'm just gonna, my, this, my video is gonna get copyright strike. So, according to this, it says that, Chris, uh, oh, um, oh, well, I sent you a package. Do not open it. Okay. Do not open it. Just take it to Tom. Don't tell anyone, but he'll know what to do. There's, um. There's something I gotta do up here, but, um... Talk the girls in for me, and, um... Give them a kiss. I love you, Chrissy. So yeah, so the as it says here, it says that um, but yeah, Taylor discovers this is caused by uh, the the, the uh, a growth accelerant appears to be causing plants to base the greenhouse to die at an alarming rate. Taylor discovers this is caused by growing plants and food in Martian soil, which also infects them with the virus. It spreads to humans upon consumption. As crew members begin to exhibit symptoms of the virus, Taylor alerts the agency in charge, who ignores warnings and suspend him. Seeking to contain the outbreak and prevent it from returning to Earth and causing a global pandemic, Taylor begins killing his colleagues one by one. There's even an alternate ending where Taylor can catch up to you in the storm and kill each and and they kill each other. And then yeah, he leaves a. It says Taylor has started leaving a voicemail to his wife on Earth before he begins his murder spree. He warns her not to open the plant that he sent them from the station and says his final goodbyes to his wife and daughters. However, it's implied that his message arrived too late and his family already succumbed to the virus. Well, didn't really show that, but okay. Extras. There's Jack with helmet on, with helmet on, with helmet off. Jessica without her helmet, with the helmet. Helen. I wonder if this is. Oh, this is Jack with the uh, the axe. Or I mean, sorry, Wyatt with the axe and the helmet on and suit on. Helen with her suit on.
security team. Oscar. So I wonder how you get these other three. Collectibles. All the posters. I missed one somewhere. There's another one I missed. United Earth flag. So I think these are two posters. I missed two posters. I missed a flag somewhere. These are the banners. So I got all the banners. So I missed one, two, three. Story. So I didn't get this audio log or this one. Message missing. Message missing. I think there were some doors video log missing. So there was there were some other doors I feel like I didn't go into. We got like virtually all of it though, to be honest. But yeah, so that's uh, that's Fort Solace. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I thought it was okay, I guess. I mean, the story's kind of interesting, but the... The, um... The game just is not good, really, to be honest. I mean, it's just really a game of QTEs and walking around. So, yeah, I mean, I thought this game would be a little different than that. Um, however, we are going to have a game that is like walking and platforming and stuff, which is going to be Somerville. And uh, that's going to be coming up uh, to replace Fort Solace. But uh, starting tomorrow, we're going to be starting the Walking Dead series. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you all in that and on Somerville and the next ones. So take care and goodbye.